morning, Painsville. I'm Jordan Johnson, and this is the 10th episode of the school year. Uh, the High School Sweet Fest was held on Friday, February 10th. Good afternoon, and welcome to the 2017 Sweet Fest Coronation. I'm Larry Carlson. And I'm Megan Beckius. We will be your hosts for the afternoon. We have a great show planned for you. Side our door keeps raging on. Congratulations to King Brody Strand and Queen Sydney Riley. Dinosaurs have invaded Mr. Gunther's creative arts class. I'm Mr. Gunther. I teach the creative metal and fabrication class. These are some of our projects from this year. Um, this was a project we designed from engine parts. We had a bunch of engines in the back room that we were going to scrap out. So I told the students, let's fall apart, let's be creative, and let's make dinosaurs. So we've got anything from Kind of interesting ones where they've got ears or hair possibly, camshaft, oil pump, things like that, pistons incorporated with that. We've got a bird, uh, we've got a dinosaur here that the head turns on, you can kind of like he's understanding what you want to say. Also he rolls back and forth, kind of handy. We've got a smaller one with the tails that move, so it's kind of neat. We've got some operational parts of these dinosaurs. We've got our standing exhaust manifold. And when you kind of look at them in certain ways, you can kind of see maybe arms and ears and eyes and face and smiles. They kind of come to life. Like perhaps this one kind of has like a duck face, but it has a body also. And with dinosaurs, we have spiky items to them. So we use push rods, valves, connecting rod caps. This one's more of your monstrous type crankshaft. A lot of meanness to them, extra teeth. He's been through the swamps. He's been out there already. So that's one of our monstrous ones. And we also have our bird projects. We made some birds. Uh, some resemble ducks. Some really look like they're kind of trying to fly. They turned out pretty nice. We got a lot of different ideas with the ducks. 
Over here we do a monster truck project where we kind of have different ideas. Monster trucks where they build an engine, they build a chassis, they build some suspension, wheels, tires, and you see a lot of different ideas. We we'll use just different types of metals and we use some of our engine parts on this also. Our 3D panels, where we have three dimensions to our panels and we kind of did a bead roll around the outside to make it look like a picture frame. And they have, have three different levels, different colors, kind of brands. I think on this one we kind of said go ahead and make it what you're interested in if you're interested in Cat, Volvo, Cummins, some of those kind of things. So yeah, it's a fun class. We uh, create metal projects. Um, everyone likes to learn a little bit about welding, learn about metals, uh, how to combine things, what you can weld, what you can't weld, these kind of things. So, fun class. Congratulations to the FFA horse judging team for placing third and advancing to state. Team members are Asia Senkiothanolith, Bailey Whaler, Emily Porter, Matt Hartsfield, and Brittany Demo. A robot that looked very similar to Mr. Wolf made a guest appearance in his fifth grade classroom last month. Triangles. And you're going to post those on the block, all right? And then once it's posted, then you can go to other people in your community and do the I spy. See if you can find a certain type of triangle, a trapezoid, parallelogram. So what's going on today with Mr. Wolf's class is Mr. Wolf is in Rockville with a fourth grade class and he's also here on the robot and you guys saw that also so what they're doing is they're collaborating in different groups so they have six different communities going on each community is doing something different at a different time including taking pictures on the iPads of geometry shapes and then what they're doing with those shapes is the other kids are commenting on them and seeing what geometry shapes they see in the pictures so that's just an example of one community then they're doing writing stories where they each make a sentence of a picture, so they're gonna create a big storyboard out of that one picture. So those are a couple of the cool things that they're doing. And then this group right now is doing Genius Hour, where they're explaining their Genius Hour projects to the other classes. And then they're talking about what they can do better or different. So they're brainstorming together. <laughs> that Mr. Wolf is on, um, he's actually logged in through an iPad on the other end, and so he's able to drive it around and control it. So it, it, it's made for um, students or workers who can't be at a certain spot at a certain time, so then they're able to do that. And so they can drive it around from wherever they are, so they can visit the class virtually. The skills they're using today, all the collaboration skills, um, it, it really helps them in the future because they need to know how to brainstorm together and work together from all over the world, not just by someone sitting next to you. So by doing a project like this, they're learning those skills of what the common workforce does now on a daily basis, and that's video conferencing all over the world. And that's not just in the workforce, it's also in education. So college campuses do the same thing. So you have students logging in from all over the world. So it's a pretty neat opportunity for them to do this. My name is Colin Wolf. I'm a fourth grade teacher at Paints Elementary. And I've been collaborating with another fourth grade teacher over at Rockville, um, John Clark Elementary. Her name is Leah uh, Frank. And we do, we've been blogging for the last three years with our classes, kind of like a, a pen bail type thing. And we decided to 
to up one and actually do a, a one morning collaboration day where we actually get to do some video conferencing for the kids. Our main goal was to have the students learn how to communicate with each other kind of more in an instant time instead of rather a drag. And it was a productive morning. We, the, the kids learned, the bottom line is that there's real people behind each blog and behind each um, post. And so they've kind of learned that you have to be positive when you write things online because there's people behind them. So we thought it was a pretty good day and the kids were excited and they're continuing blogging with the kids over at uh, Rockville Elementary. So we're kind of looking forward maybe next year doing it again. Thanks for watching and remember if you see news happening or have a story idea, please email us at bnctvnews at gmail.com. See you again next time and Bree, if you're here next time, that would be great. Peace. <laughs>